All right, ladies and gents, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a long time since we've done Pilgrims, and it didn't click in my mind that it had been a long time since we've done this map until I saw it. I kind of missed it. Ten seconds into this one, we have Genghis Khan says, I have, a, I have had a generous helping of wine with my partner. Please be my friend. <laughs> and said it to everybody. Uh, right away, so is hoping that everyone will be an ally. So, if you don't know how Pilgrims works, you start on these islands, and then you have to transport away from the islands and eventually find the mainland. Not everyone will choose to do that. Some people will choose to drop their TCs on these tiny little starting islands. But, see, anyhow, I will introduce all eight of these individuals once they find a starting spot. Things to look for would be wolves. We will likely see some woo-woo-woo-woo-woo on this map because the wolves are out there and they're on the prowl and we have seen many people lose their villagers as they move around in the early going um another reminder and this is pretty much consistent in all my community games today these days is that the kings explode so if you're going to die then there's going to be some type of consequence for the enemy depending on where your king ends up dying if you sink however there will be no explosion but guys, I, I mean, Pilgrims takes me all the way back to 2016 community games. Like, I, we've been doing Pilgrims for seven years now. And I know most of you watching haven't been here for this long. But the fact that community games are still going strong and people are still interested. And just, like, there's still uniqueness to it. I, I really, it surprises me at this point that there is so much uniqueness from game to game. But I guess it's a testament to my community and also a testament to the game. So, um... Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever else out there. Okay. Um, I don't know where these villagers are going for blue. Blue's king is scouting right now, which is actually kind of smart. The king does not get attacked by wolves. And they have, they're fast, and they have a lot of vision. Now, I once lost a king to an enemy town center in a tournament. <laughs> um, I don't know if... Hardy's going to be able to find that and edit it in, but if he is going to be able to edit it in, he could edit it in right now. So, anyways, that happened, and so ever since then, I even in community games, I'm just more aware of the fact that that is a possibility, and players need to be careful. But yes, I thankfully ended up winning that series 2-1, but I was just like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Because I say all the time, don't run into people's TCs. Okay, let's get our introductions in. We had one player stay on their starting island. And this is a player who tried to get in community games the, for the first time today. We have Daniel S. playing as the Dravidians. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Daniel was like, I'm nervous to sign up. And I said, hey, you should do it. And then somehow out of 150-some people got in. Dravidians on the starting islands. Interesting little position here. Um, in the blue, we have... It's not Delivery. It's Don Genos. And is not playing as the Sicilians. And But... It is an interesting name, and I believe this player has won a community game before. Players should be careful. Also, he's somehow gotten in quite a few times over the last couple months, so has some recent experience. In the teal, to the northernmost area of the map, or not really the no northernmost area, but this player is closer to the north than anyone. We have the Franks for Genghis Khan, the player who is apparently a little wine drunk right now, and I respect that. Uh, in the red on the shoreline, we have Langley playing as the Hindustanis. In the orange, we have Average Rye Bread Consumer playing as the Vikings. Lovely names here in this game. And the yellow, we have Seber Suita, who's playing as the Romans, a civilization included in the Return to Rome DLC, amongst a bunch of Age of Empires 1 stuff. But it'd be cool to see the Romans again. I've been trying to mix in the Romans. Um to these community games today. I just, I want to see them more and get more of a feel for them and, you know, playing them, watching them really does help because eventually they'll be in ranked and intertwined with everything else. So, be careful how you say Teal's name. I realized when I said Teal's name that it sounded very similar to something else. <laughs> Kant. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call him Teal Genghis. Oh, in my brain when I said it, I was like, ooh, that could be a problem. But I thought maybe it was just me. Uh, I'm missing introductions. Gray still doesn't have a TC. We have 
The Silver Lady playing as the Saracens. In the green... Okay, we have the Sheriff playing as the Huns. And that now is everybody in this game. Now, we had some chatter that I missed. Um, uh, people are talking about mods not being there. Uh, Orange says, I'm a low the legend. I only use big trees. Grace says, where is Land Lull? I want it known that a dignified lady has no time for backstabbing. <laughs> I Man, you're really going to make me look like an idiot here. How do I even pronounce that word? How do I pronounce that word? Miscreants? I've never said that word before. Though I can pick up on what it means. Uneducated 90 over here, by the way. Also, speaking of, uh, embarrassing moment for me. So I was a very sheltered individual. I, um, For example, my friends were into... Whoa, there's Grace TC. Okay. Um, for example, my friends were really into, like, Pokemon and, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that stuff. And my, um... My parents weren't really a big fan of that stuff, so they didn't really let me do it. And I remember certain shows my parents didn't want me to watch and things like that. It was a bit of a sheltered environment. Looking back, I'm like, man, I kind of missed out on certain things. Um, and so with that, I, I was aware of Dragon Ball Z, but I never watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Just never did, right? Uh, and apparently in one of my recent videos, one of the players' names I was mispronouncing, and he's apparently like a really well-known uh, Dragon Ball Z character. And the, the disappointed tone in which this person left a comment replying to me on that video just made, made me feel very bad. <laughs> uh, he was just like, he basically was like, this is what this guy's name is. This is who he is. This is why he's important. And then he said, how did he say it? He was like, God, you are so, he didn't say, God, you're so sheltered. He was like, you are unbelievably uncultured. And I just, I couldn't really disagree. I'm way more cultured than I was when I was younger, as are most of us, but yeah. Felt bad about that one. So, anyways, thanks for that, Gray. I, I appreciate all that. So, we have wide discrepancies in economies right now. 18 for the Silver Lady, who doesn't want to be backstabbed. But is very safe in the north. And this is epic, actually. If you could make it to feudal and make stone walls here, you have four gold piles, a stone... A relic two wolves to, to have pets i mean who gets to have pets these days in this economy uh, oh wait four of them dang man not bad uh we'll see but i i not knowing their ranks i will tell you that i've seen blue play before and i think blue might be the favorite here but i know teal has played before as well i recognize the name yes uh, we were probably all over the place in terms of ranks Oh, this is interesting. Blue says, hey, Yellow, how's it going? Yellow says, it's going. I hear we allies till the end. Blue says, I think so. Makes sense. Romans and Italians. Yeah, some people are really annoyed with the whole return to Rome, the Romans yes. being brought to Age of Empires too. Some people just aren't a fan of it. Um, <laughs> Blue now says, too bad we don't have Sicilians. Then we have, could have three times. Yeah, some people are just like, don't we already have this Civ and that Civ? Why are we getting Romans? But, you know, I thought a little bit more about it, and I was just like, yeah, but there's there's a lot of civilizations in our game that kind of overlap, different areas of the world, different time periods. Overall, I don't have much of an issue with the Romans, personally. It'd be cool to see how things play out. Now, Yellow is reaching out to somebody else, is cheating on his locational friend, and says, Orange, you and me friends. And this is interesting how they justify the friendship. Like, <laughs> yellow and blue are like, yes, we're from the same location. It only makes sense. Romans and Italians. And now we have orange go, yes, summer colors together. And yellow goes winning colors. And orange says, ye. And uh, yellow is going to take some gold, apparently. And they're all going to be friends. So that's cool to see. So Feudal Age has arrived for almost every player. Uh, gray and Orange are lagging behind a little bit. And uh, Gray apparently does not know much about the Saracens. And yes, they do have very good camels to answer Gray's question. Where, wait, what's happening with Green? Okay, no, Green, Green is in Feudal Age, I guess. 
And uh oh, that's not good. Woo 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 woo. Be careful how far you go, lady. <laughs> well, guys, we we wait from here. I can be creative sometimes and tell stories or create names for various figures in the game. I don't have anything right now. We're just going to go with the flow. I like the amount of fishing we're seeing from Yellow already. Yellow's kind of jumping up in my mind as one of the favorites because Yellow has two allies. And I mean, also, these are two like backdoor yes. deal allies, right? Because everyone's allied for the most part because they do that at the start unless your name is Langley. But two very serious conversations were had with two very different players. And Yellow continues to talk, and normally the better players are not talkative in these games, which is a downside for them. Yellow says, who's your ally? Blue says, just you so far. Nobody's talking to me. And Yellow says, don't lie to me. Bro, not a good start. You're now accusing your new ally of lying to you 18 minutes into a game. You're not even in Castle yet. Like... <laughs> It was going so good, but just jumping in with the don't lie to me at this stage of a game? And Blue says, I'm not. I'm alone apart from you. And now Yellow says, let's get Orange with us. He is yes. friend. And Blue says, yes. Okay, so Yellow's game plan was not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought he was going to try and, like, maintain... He, like, have a... Have a... Ma Never mind. He's like going to maintain two separate alliances and say, hey, I'm with you till the end and then eventually choose one. But whoa, wait, this is kind of what's happening. Yellow says, Orange, I don't trust Blue, but he can be ally. Oh. And I, I'm guessing it's because Blue's in a couple videos. I'm guessing it might be because Blue is in Castle Age so quick. I don't really know where the lack of trust comes from. Maybe Yellow isn't a big fan of DiGiorno's. Um, or Dungeons, yeah. one or the other. We'll see. Now, guys, Red has made community game mistake number one. Uh, he's, he's broken the number one rule of community games, and the number one rule of community games is always ally everyone at the start. We had another one of those earlier. It's just because it's stressful to do everything else. And Red says, sorry, I have not been typing to anyone. I'm a friend to everyone now. So hopefully this is recoverable for Red. It happens. What happened to the Brazil Trading Company? I do remember that game. It wasn't the Brazil Trade Company, though. It was the Barcelona Trading Company. Man, that was a while ago. Great memory. And I think they were also... It was like the Barcelona Trading Company was some other unique name in that game. I think they were Spanish or they were teamed with Spanish. I forget. I thought the number one rule of community games was to kill the streamer first. Well, okay, that's probably the case for you guys. But that's not my number one rule, all right? I don't enjoy that. All right, so economy is getting built up. Um... There are three players lagging behind. We have the wine drunk Genghis Khan. Uh, we have Daniel, and then we have Gray. It's not a bad thing. You can be a valuable ally, but while still being lower score. I think Teal especially is going to catch up here because we've got a couple town centers. Just to you, Yellow, do you want to be friends with Red? And Red says it's nicer seeing more of the map because Red is now allied with everybody. So, probably vision changed pretty drastically for Red a moment ago. That was an early Exploding Kings on DE game. Gotcha. So it was maybe three or so years ago. But I think what we used to do, I think the way Exploding Kings started was it was always built into the map. So I had to give the host the map script... And eventually a mod was created. Yes. And so the mod allows you to do it on all settings. Like, on all maps. You just have to use the data mod, and it's all good. Red wants to be friends with me and Orange. I like her position. Yeah, I mean, that's a really strong foothold. You, you've got a good chunk of land to work from. Look at Purple, by the way. Purple's just casually taking some turkeys. Just relaxing. 
Looks like they just lost a friend to a wolf. Because you can see the wolf carcass is still there. Um, so Gray was trying to talk to Teal. Teal responded. Gray now says, okay, mates. And Teal says, lady, question mark? Is maybe wondering you know, if, if Silver Lady is going to respond here or something. What do we call this team? We have a team with Langley, Average Rye Bread co Consumer, and then Seb. Oh, God. I don't even know. I, I Why did I pick those three names to try and make one full name for them? We're going to call them Team Summer because of their colors. Or Team Fire. Yeah, Team Fire. We might have, like, you know, water and fire duke it out eventually if teal and blue and green. I I guess green. Water can be green. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm trying my best out here, guys. And Daniel's TC over here. Very sneaky. Blue, only to you. Can, do, can we be friends? I can't speak. Yes. Sorry. And blue says yes. And it seems like the fire team is talking about, or the warm team is talking about eventually killing blue. And yellow's about to be an imp, man. Yellow's killing it. And orange is a little conflicted because the blue color is pretty cool. So, very early talks of killing somebody. Very early talks of alliances. And blue's going to be a tough nut to crack, I think. Gray is going to want the time. And Gray has the time. Teal is probably not going to be involved in any of these attacks either. They might just walk right through here and just go right after Blue. And Blue does not suspect that Yellow is going to possibly turn in this game. It is now asking Yellow for trade. And sometimes like the two top dogs will team together and kill off all the weaker players. And then they decide what to do from there. So I could see Blue thinking that's going to be the case. Ooh, that would be cool to see Yellow make the unique ships from the Romans. Oh, God. Look at Daniel. A little bit of an escort there. That is a king and nine villagers trying to leave the starting island for once. And if anyone were to kill that while that thing's on land, there will be an explosion. Would it be a good idea to take purple, seeing as though he's kind of trapped in? This is red. And Arn says, okay, let's. So, you remember when red didn't ally people? And I said it could be an issue? Since then, red has been very chatty. Daniel has not really said a word, and Daniel is kind of sharing their land. That's concerning. Also, the Romans... I think their, their ships are... Again, th this is not ranked currently. It's not going to be in tournaments. They didn't give a timeline on when it will be. They said they're going to balance it out. I think the way Romans are balanced right now is, is a little too crazy in some areas. But I think their ships are just going to be insane. They get tons of extra armor. And they also attack faster after unique tech. And they also have plus one attack. It's pretty crazy. I think they might actually have the strongest fully upgraded navy. But that would obviously... That's a bold statement. The galleys seem completely broken to me. I suppose if they're up against caravels or something, it could be different. I am up in the corner. You are down in the corner. Shall we trade? And Daniel says, yes, sir. Be careful who you're calling sir here, Daniel. But Gray says, Teal is my buddy. Okay, so Gray and Teal are buddies. And I think for Purple, Purple's just taking some time... To get things built up here. Romans don't have Bracer. Oh. This is why I want to involve them. They don't have Bracer. So essentially their attack is the same than an Imp. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. And then they the 33% faster attacking is quite nice. But not getting Bracer. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's... I still think it could potentially be a problem in Feudal yes. and Castle, but it's... I take back what I said. It might not be the full, best fully upgraded Navy then. 
I would need to see the Dramans, though, which is a unique ship they get. And I haven't seen those things interact much. Lots of trade on the seas, by the way. Not so much from Blue. I'd like to see Blue use these docks, find a dock over here, and trade away to get long-term gold. Sorry, Gray. Was slow with my chat settings. Where you want trade? Now, as nice as it might seem to trade from corner to corner, you can't really do that on Pilgrims because of the gigantic gargantuan wood lines. Like, you would be trading through this, and that just, I mean, it gives me anxiety to even think about. The pathing's not going to be great. So, water trade is the most efficient, something that Yellow seems to realize. And we've got these trade cogs going across the map right now. Blue and green, are we friends, says Yellow. Yellow has talked to pretty much every player except Purple now. We'll see if there's a response, but Yellow's Diplo play has been really good. Just ensuring that the friendships are strong. And no one's really said, I don't trust Yellow. I don't think Orange and Red will. I think Orange and Red are going to be yes. like, oh, nice, I'm teamed with this guy. He's quite strong, this is good. Orange says, OMG, I made a bazillion transport ships instead of trade. Where are they, though? This is content. Did you delete them? Do we need to rewind? Well, okay, he just made it. Okay, I'm seeing three. Oh, I'm seeing four. I'm seeing five, six. <laughs> okay. Did he send any to the destination, though? At least he realized. <laughs> hmm. Huns get dramas too, right? Yeah, a few civilizations do, actually. Could you guys remind me how many get them? I think it's four in total, but I forget which ones. That's a good point. Still more chatter. And now we have yellow talking to team, to the warm team, I guess. Whoa, what did I do? Oh God, what? Okay, I didn't actually skip that far back. Hey guys, is Teal the middle man standing in our way to victory? Yeah. Orange says, I'm scared of purpose here, our friend. Yellow says, yes. And yellow is the boss. Um, Gray says, Daniel, are you buddies with Orange? Because he kind of in your face. Hmm. Well, no, I think it's... I think Orange is fine. I think Purple kind of encroached on that territory. And Daniel says, to be honest, zero interaction with Orange. That should worry you, Daniel. You should be chatty chat boxing. Trying to see what's going on over there. Red, just to you. You're looking a bit cramped. Ooh, this is blue. Offering Red a deal. Maybe. And then the silver lady says, Hey, orange and red. Perp and I are going to be trading. I hope that's all right with you two. Okay, very courteous of you to ask about trading through their base. I appreciate that. And Teal finally, not been very chatty in this game. Might be due to the wine that he mentioned earlier. Is going to talk to Red now. So Red's a very popular figure right now. Green has been super silent, and green has been silent perhaps for a reason. Green is ready to go for somebody and says, thinking about getting teal. Oh, man. You got pretty low score here, green. If this doesn't work out, teal is a better economy than you. Look at the economies for these guys, by the way. They're so close to pop cap on eco. Teal's gonna have, like, paladins with the Franks. Like, you can't stop paladins. <laughs> I respect it. I just hope you have ballistics. I'm concerned because there's attack upgrades missing on these cav archers. There's bloodlines missing on these cav archers. That ballistics might be forgotten about here, which could lead to some shots missing. But I'm ready for green to do this. Green's gonna make this game interesting. Yellow speaking to blue and green says, are you guys friends with teal? And they both say no. So teal is in the middle of the map. And doesn't seem like he has a whole lot of support here. So I, I consider teal to be a goner eventually. We'll probably put up a big fight. I consider purple to be a goner eventually. We'll probably put up a big fight. I think gray being in the corner will be helpful. I think people aren't actually gonna focus on gray. But purple being in 
like the side of this team's base is going to concern them. Okay, now yellow is reaching out to Teal, says, how are you? Teal says, good, how are you? And yellow tells him, red and orange don't like you, which is weird because that's part of his warm team situation. Teal just says, this is sad, and yellow says, they want us to be enemies. So, a little bit of advice if you're going to try and mass petards. Put them in your castle. Don't mass them out in the open where people can see you. <laughs> Yellow says, I want you and me to the end. This is like the fourth person he said this to. He said it to Blue and then also told Blue, don't lie to me. <laughs> like, very aggressively. Teal says, I like that idea. Guys, sometimes it just feels good to be wanted, right? It feels good to be desired. It feels good for someone to want to be on your team. You don't get that feeling all the time, you know? You get into this game and you're concerned you're not going to have an ally and that you're going to be the odd man out and that someone's going to leave a mean comment on YouTube and all of a sudden you've got little old yellow showing up being nice. Huh. So some people might think, well, why did he choose me? And maybe that can't be believed, but, you know, there's no real reason for yellow to reach out other than to be nice. He doesn't gain anything from that conversation. Meanwhile, green's just like, sitting here massing this <laughs> ridiculous force and says where is teal's king now teal's king is here but teal has a villager or an axeman in there and an axeman in here which is a good enough fake where green might guess incorrectly here so blues is not sure so yellow is getting a really good understanding of who is friends with who just chatting up his new buddy Teal, finding out what Gray's thinking. I'm going to say this, though, because I've seen this many times before. If you are doing what Yellow is doing, eventually you have to just make a move. If you're too chatty and you're too go with the flow, it, it doesn't last forever. So no one to make your move, no one to take advantage of this diplomacy that you've been using. Oh, wow. Bray saying, guys, blue and yellow have scared me. They way too strong. They're talking about the big dogs. And Teal has just mentioned green in another conversation. And Teal says to Gray, let's be friends for Evs. Okay, so here comes green just strolling, just passing, guys, just passing. Hey, uh, nice houses you have here. I'm just gonna walk on in. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Take some real guts, man. <laughs> Take some real freaking guts. Teal sees it. <laughs> like, how could you not see it? He's, Green's like hoping he's blending in with the grass. <laughs> Greens is just passing. Do not use all your petards on that TC. I've seen it happen before. Don't overkill the TC. You need five for that TC. He's going to turn. He's going to click that town center. And all 23 are going to explode. He turns. No! No! Disaster! No! Oh, God. Well, Sheriff, I love you anyways, bro. He said just passing. He knows his community game history. It perhaps wasn't the sneakiest. But yeah, so... <laughs> he needed five single petards to take out the TC. He, he needed eight to take out the castle. Or maybe more now because it has some upgrades. But that's a lesson learned there. But I've done it myself and I've seen people do that as well. Then now green just says jokes. He's like, ah, oh, it was just a prank, bro. And blue wasn't ready. So now blue's got to defend the guy. He's probably like, dude, are you kidding me? And I like this from Teal. He says 2,000 gold, green. That is the cost of jokes. Okay. Now, hold on. Can I turn on? Tribute events is actually on. Hmm. Green is just massing more. Oh my god, he set his rally point into the guy's base. Look, 
He's just got random petards waltzing into this guy's base. Like, did you guys ever play Serious Sam? These guys are like, ah, as they run into the base. <laughs> I mean, he might actually be able to get away with it. They are friends again, I think. I don't know. Gold green, I am coming. Yeah, so Teal wants a payout. <laughs> Pay me or I'll kill you. And he'd be fully justified with just killing the guy. He could easily do so. It does seem like green is a little bit... He, he took a risk because he feels like he can't possibly do anything here. Blue wasn't ready, but blue was had a complete overboom here. So blue is massing a lot of resources. And green just... He didn't respond at all. And now green is running with the king. So green still has a chance. Um, his stockpile is not good enough to send the gold, but at least you should say that. And Teal says TikTok green. Like, come on, send the resources or you're gonna die. The batards are still chilling there, by the way, but he doesn't have an army. Green's now gonna run away. He needs to wall behind it. The pathing! Path the pathing! Path ah! That's, oh, that, that really hurts. And this is going to be the end for green. And the explosion will happen near Teal. He's going to lose a lot of houses. The sheriff, you are out. I respect you, though. Whoa! Whoa! Red showed up! Holy crap, and Red almost killed Teal at the same time. What ridiculous timing. Anyways, I'll show the explosion. Uh, again, Sheriff, I respect you. You went out with a bang. I know it didn't work out, and you wanted the glory snipe, but still. And whoa, that explosion looks way bigger than any of the other ones we've seen recently. Now, this could be the end for Teal. Like, Teal has allies, but Teal doesn't have anyone actually actively here to help. Does take out the cannons, though. The king is still out there. The Imperial Camels should absolutely wreck the Paladin, so... Yeah, Hindustanis are a really good civilization to have here. Gray doesn't really know what happened. Gray just says, did Green quit? Teal, however, is going to run into Gray's base. Gray's cute little SimCity base and hang out. Remember, we've got purple. And, uh, you know, purple's still kind of on the outskirts of this whole red, orange, yellow situation. And yellow and orange haven't shown much yet. And Teal is he's gonna try again to get somebody to do what he wants by using words. He says, Red, I will kamikaze you. So he's trying to get Red to stop attacking him. It's pretty much the only card he has. It's just, hey, if you do this, fine, I will just explode you. Obviously, I don't think he's gonna do that. Red might not have even seen the message. We now have Orange saying he's gonna come help. By the way, the elite centurions! Let's go! We get to see the new Romans! Ugh. I don't know how good those things are going to be, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> Gray! <laughs> Gray, you are completely outing the king here. <laughs> Gray says... Okay, like, this is the situation. Red is in kill mode, and it's a high-stress situation, and Red's thinking... I need to find where the king is from Teal. Man, where's that king? I can't find it anywhere. Dang it. Gray goes, yes. uh, Genghis, why is your king standing on my gold? <laughs> <laughs> uh, completely oblivious to the fact that Teal is kind of dying right now and doesn't want the enemy to know where that is. <laughs> and Teal says, like, be quiet. Like, shh, you know. Um, anyways... I will have to go against red is what yellow says. Orange doesn't completely understand that. And yellow is saying it's because we don't have space. Well, that's interesting because yellow did say, like, let's be friends forever. And orange isn't happy about it. Orange is like, dad, do we have to? And he's trying to propose an alternate plan. And I think for orange, this might be a reason he distrusts yellow in the long term. He's like, well, hey, I'm taking up your space. We're sharing the same land. Are you just going to kill me later on then? And I I might be exaggerating, but I actually think that that is a clear sign that Yellow would absolutely do so for his own interest. So we'll see how it goes. Teal is in a really rough spot. Blue hasn't helped at all. I think Blue is kind of dug in at this point, realizing it's me versus the world. 
no alliance will help me. Let's just save as much gold as possible till later. Sheriff says, uh, my last Kami game, I waited too long and died without doing anything. This time had to be different. Well, I respect it. Guys, yellow and orange. I am dying. If red finish me, bleep bleep near you, so please help. So he's saying I will explode my king near you. Which is true. He could try it. I don't think it'd be easy. Gray says, okay, do you guys want to attack somebody? I'm making some ships. Apparently I have good ships, question mark. So maybe look to the tech tree for that. And we are going to see some ships from these docks. King, by the way, for Gray is here. Does anyone know if it's been there the whole time? I thought Gray had it in the north before. Also, I wonder if Purple's realizing these people don't really trust me. I have to go alone because Purple's got trebs. And Purple's could maybe be bold enough to make a move. That would be so freaking sick. But who's going to have the guts to do that when three people are together and they're all stronger than you? I think Teal realizes the writing is on the wall. <laughs> Gray is really struggling to follow some of the things that's happening in the game. And it actually is so cute. <laughs> Gray says, Teal, are you getting hit bad? <laughs> Meanwhile, Teal just says help <laughs> uh, to Blue. Doesn't even talk to Gray anymore. <laughs> Gray is useless. Oh, we have the big turn and Red dies. So Yellow kills the guy he wanted land from, but there will now be an explosion. Tell me you remember this, Seb. Seb, it's Exploding Kings. We have animations to remind you. You just killed someone you promised your future to, and you're going to die with him. Completely forgot about the explosion radius, or is maybe misjudging it. Yellow is now gone from the game. You killed your friend, you killed yourself, and now you might kill Orange in the process. Red is happy. Red's like, yes! Red is so pumped that that actually happened, but Orange is going to run! Orange is running! Orange realized! Great awareness, and, and Orange is going to save whatever villagers as possible as well. So Orange should be okay. It would be an opportune time, though, for Purple to show up and snipe that king if he really wanted it. Oh, man. Now, I think Purple it wants to be friends with somebody. But dang, that was eventful. Uh, Orange is freaking out. Like, oh, my God, what just happened? Teal, by the way, trying to reboom. And where is that king at? Oh, the king is, is being attacked right now by orange units. Well, the TC is anyways. So, Teal is able to just hop inside a town center. Um, Yellow said, I forgot I was exploding kings. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of an important detail in this game. And, I, I mean, that changes the whole outlook of this game, right? Like, the players that were actively going to kill Teal... They're kind of gone from the game right now. And Hindustani's looked really strong as well, I have to say. Again, King's still inside of this town center. For Genghis Khan. Um, just making sure I enunciate properly. Why are the ships moving so fast? Which ships? Oh, they are moving really fast. I think it's a Hindustani bug. Or wait. Is that bugged? So we had a game earlier with Hindustanis and there was a trade and camel movement bug with the caravanissary building. It definitely seems like sometimes the ships are moving faster than they normally do. But maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, so we're going to see this castle get completed eventually from Teal. Orange is trying to reboom and recover from this whole situation. Purple did ask a question and said, like, which king, I think? But we haven't seen a response. It's a market tech, isn't it? Mm, well, yeah, so there is a market tech that makes your trade faster. But the Hindustanis have a building that makes trade faster. And in the previous game, it made trade way faster than it should be. And it also made camels faster. Which, if you guys remind me, I have to report that bug after this and pass that along to the devs. Because I don't think people are going to run into that one. And it's gonna, it's not going to be on their list of things to fix if I don't mention it. 
Teal is not happy. He says, revenge on all them, uh, on them all, please. Burn it all down, basically is what he means. And Gray says, okay, I see Orange being mean to Genghis, so I'm going to kill his trade. He traded with Yellow's dead doc. Ooh. The funny thing was, it wasn't really Orange just doing, but Orange did play a role. Yeah, and Orange is still playing a role. Orange needs a buddy. Says, Purple, are we in this together? Daniel says, yes. Which is kind of funny timing, because the, the timing of some of the other messages here. Guys, you know what's interesting? I feel like Gray isn't going to be hated by anyone. Oh, wait. Wait. Blue just turned on Teal. Blue just turned on Teal. Does not want this bomb to be here. The TC's got denied. Oh, poor Teal. <laughs> Apparently, Orange needs a lot of houses. And Teal says, I just want a friend. And Blue says, I can't have you in here. Well, can you be friends over the wall? He says, okay, ally, and I live outside. Oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I feel so bad for Genghis Khan. Oh. Gray says, I'm going to mess with Orange. Maybe distract from Teal, I hope. So Gray is doing this to try and, like, like, Gray really cares about Teal. And it's a sad story because Gray, unfortunately, wasn't strong enough to really be able to support Teal when Teal needed it. But in the end, the only person that's truly there for Genghis Khan is uh, Silver Lady. Purple Orange has you really trapped. Now, Gray it really likes Purple as well. However, uh, well, while that's the case, I think Purple should really team up with Orange. Instead of fighting him. Blue says, orange to you. Teal and Grey Kings together. And here's Grey with the biggest freaking navy you've seen on Pilgrims. And all the trade for orange is going to go down. So orange has even bigger problems. All because yellow decided to break up the friendship they had in the warmer color team. And that's painful. And actually, Grey could really hold... Gray really should be turning on blue as well if the plan is to support teal. Because, I mean, blue is getting all this gold. I mean, blue is the heavy favorite now, right? Blue's probably got, yeah, you know, casual 60k gold. And yellow had 45k, but yellow killed himself. I, blue, want to fight with me in purple, says orange. <laughs> Daniel says, I was using treason with no enemy set. Whoops. Well, honestly, I... What do you... Okay. I have an idea. Yes. Treason should work when you're still allied with people. Agree or disagree? Because if you think of how treason actually works, right? You're revealing information about your team, right? So to have to be enemies of someone for treason to work doesn't really make any sense. But also, I think it would make it more... I think it would actually make it easier to perform because like oh someone just enemied me oh someone researched treason i wonder who it was this kind of defeats the purpose i actually have never talked to the devs about this i wonder if we could get that change i don't know i, I will have to mention that so remind me after this guys i will pass along a few details to them because i'll just forget otherwise and maybe we'll get that change because i think it'd be cool don't give me up to blue please says says teal no one likes teal. Blue hurt you much? Yes, blue hurt gray or teal a lot. Blue says gray, I have a deal for you. Are you interested? I mean, guys, if blue ever loses this game, this is horrible, right? Like blue is more of every resource. The all the other teams are fractured. Italians are also really freaking good. Like, blue is in the perfect position. Blue, you just need to kill people. Kill people before someone can somehow strategize to kill you. Hmm. They should change the name, not how it functions? No, I, I don't actually have an issue with the name, while it might not be completely accurate to how it works. I have more of an issue with how it functions. I think it... 
should show you all king locations. It should show you enemy locations, and it should show you ally locations. Or maybe they add a separate one. So, like, maybe they have treason, and you pay a certain amount to see allies, and then there's another one to show enemies. Because it could be too confusing with all the pings. Blue is now losing his trade. So this is a good move from Gray. That does hurt Blue. And Blue's chances of winning this game. Okay, and, and Gray is trying to respond to Blue's deal and isn't sending it to the right person. Very confusing game. Purple says, trying to find Blue King. Concentrated. I'm more blind than T90. Dude, don't bring me into this. Don't bring my... my blindness into this, mister. I don't have full upgrades on my units. Oh, wow. Check this out. So, purple's like, I don't see flags or anything. Well, that's because blue has been very smart about this. There is a tower behind there, okay? That is garrisoned. But the castle is blocking the flag. This is an old regicide trick. And you'd really have to look for it to know. Look, there's another one. You see the tower behind there? The flag would be right here. That's really cool. This guy knows what he's doing. Gray still isn't responding. Gray, are you there? You can still live. And then Gray says, am I where? And still isn't messaging Blue. It has not dawned on Gray that that's the situation. Here we go. I turned on you because you hurt my buddy Teal. He asked me to fight you. Okay, so now the combo begins. It'd be cool and fitting if it could be choose a player to treason each time you research it. That 400 gold bribe doesn't go far, split seven ways. Okay. Gray need help. Yes. Which I think was a question from Purple. <laughs> Orange just chimes in and says, Purple, Blue, are you ready? And they are far from ready. Blue is saying all three of us can be friends, but I don't even know who he's saying it to. Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of being able to choose who you treason. I just think it should be you treason and you get the pings for the kings. But treason would be so epic. Because, like, le treason would be amazing if you didn't have to enemy people to see yes. kings. And it would actually make more sense. Does Blue see this king? Oh, man. I don't know if Teal saw the cannons. Blue just asked me to stop and said he won't hurt Teal anymore. Uh, probably because I killed his entire trade. I think that's fair. I, I believe that's probably accurate. The reason the gray is an issue right now to blue is because of the navy. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. I love Teal so much. The whole world has been completely cold to Teal, right? Teal was friends with everybody. The only ally in which it was Gray, and Gray wasn't really in a position to help at all. Whoa, and we've got a pretty interesting navy build up here for Teal. I thought this was going to be more of like a suicide journey. Can you see his king? And then Orange says, I think he's going on water, which is exactly where Teal is going. Gray says, I won't hurt you. And unfortunately for Gray, Gray has had to change chat settings so much. Like, normally you don't have this much chat commitment. But man, there's been a lot of chat things that needed to switch up here. But the king is not here for Gray. So it is moments like these, guys, that I will remind you that Wonder Victory is possible. Wonder Victory is possible. Look at the resources for Gray. Look at it. And I bet you Teal would fight alongside Gray in defense of it, too. They're realizing that the two they're trying to find are on water right now. Oh boy, look at this though. Oh boy, look at this. Sheesh, that's some cannon treb action followed by some cav archer action. Now what does Blue see? Blue sees the navy. 
Blue sees the Navy. So it's going to be tough to get through there. So this might actually be for somebody else. Blue says I build Navy. And Blue is building Navy from this island. So Blue's actually right next to all this with Navy. Orange is killing Gray's base. Gray wants help. Gray has been struggling to get any type of support this game. And there goes Blue. I suppose just passing. Huh? Oh, they're allied again. <laughs> Blue's taking advantage of that. Oh, boy. And he says, Gray is that orange king. And he's, he signaled that because he's allied with orange right now. And he wants to know if that's the king. But that, would, that has to be the king. There's no other buildings garrisoned. Gray is still asking for help. Gray is going to get none of it at the base. But if orange is killed off, that would obviously help. Telling Gray to research trees in which Gray has the resources for. Gray has more gold than anyone. But oh, Gray doesn't have a castle now to research trees in. Also, having blue or gray color really helps on the minimap in these scenarios because it really blends in with the water. But wouldn't it be funny if purple's going to move in to kill orange or something? Like, purple is pretty much just chilled here this whole game. Oh, wait, they're working together. Okay, so blue says go. And I guess that's what purple's going to do. And blue turns. A little early, orange could actually escape this. Which would make matters interesting. Because you want to turn when your cav archers are underneath the castle. That way if the king runs, the king cannot escape. And yeah, there it goes. Okay. So now purple's going to have to go get that thing. And orange is not pleased. Okay, so purple's going to turn. King is still going to be able to avoid this. <laughs> For the time being, anyways. Poor orange lost both of his allies to a double explosion. And has not been able to get together since. I mean, he is killing Gray right now. I don't know if Orange has any ships over here. That's a Gray transport ship. I mean, if you get the explosion close to Blue, you could maybe kill Blue. But, I mean, Blue... We've known this for a while. Like, Blue should never lose this game in a million years. I actually think the second Orange is dead, you build a wonder. If you're Blue. <clears throat> He's trying to go to Blue's base, which I get. Right? You've got two people against you. You could try and loop around and kill Purple because you're annoyed the Purple backstabbed you, but Blue's got like 13k more score than anybody else. And there goes the king. So you can make it here. Um, I, Let me see his point of view, see what he's aware of. Okay, I mean, he researched treason. I, at least I believe he did. Oh, and Blue's trying to wall this. Okay. Quick wall. There shouldn't be a gap now. And the king can't go further. So yes, this king will die. And well played, Orange. Unfortunate for you that Yellow forgot this was an Exploding Kings game. Because it looked like you could have maybe made some progress there with your team. And this is what I wanted to see. This is the correct play. But Gray, you need to commit. I was very clear ahead of time. I said, guys, it's Wonder Victory. I said it three times because I know Pilgrims can bring these types of situations. Gray says, I'm going to go Wonder with Ally Victory, okay? So Gray's going to try. This is actually an instance where I'm okay with Allied Victory. Gray's going to try to go Wonder Victory, but Blue is here with Cannon Galleons. Oh, no. And he's used all of his demos on the dock. And did Gray notice that? Uh-oh. High pressure scenario, Gray. You better be careful. Blue is waiting. Oh, God. Oh, God. Gray's still allied with Blue. It's all falling apart. Really hard to focus on things here. Hard to go to those settings in these moments. And and Teal is going to build a wonder. <laughs> and Teal says, race you. But now Gray is dead. Oh, no. The uh, seven villager wonder. Or the eight villager wonder. <laughs> Grace is blue, you jerk. <laughs> oh, man. I know Gray. Gray will look back at some things and say, man, I wish this or that could have gone differently. But Gray was pretty comical this game. <laughs> Gray's personality is really fun. 
Go Teal, go. Yeah. And Genghis Khan as well. He just feels so bad, you know. Everyone who's been rooting for the little guy in this game has not got what they wanted. Arnt says, was a good game. Can't believe I did, didn't die first. Yeah, you played well. So, actually, Purple should be building a wonder. Because all the focus is going to be on Teal. Does Purple have the resources? Eh, it'd be a stretch. You'd probably have to sell all your food and then buy the stone. So, probably not. But the thing is, there's no way this wonder completes. And even if it does, there's no way it stays up for 350 years. So... Like, things worked out so well for blue here. Because the two main threats to blue in this game would have been red and would have been yellow. And they both died in one swing. And as that transport sinks and those elephants cannot swim, so they're dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. I said they were dead. But did you see that? Can we slow-mo? Wait, hold on. Go back. There's the transport. In the transport, there's six elephants and a champion. And when that ship sinks, they're dead. But wait. <gasps> what? I can't even pause it there. It's literally impossible for me to pause it there. Y y oh. There they are. Whoa, that's creepy, dude. Anyways, we continue. Um, so just, you know, a couple ghosts. It's fine. What was I even talking about? I don't remember what I'm talking about. I think we're talking about the fact that Teal's building a wonder. But that was an interesting situation with the transport ship. <laughs> Teal, no, was for blue. <laughs> was it, though? I mean, Daniel, if it makes you feel any better, you weren't going to be able to get there. <laughs> Teal says, sorry, I have trust issues. Which you cannot blame Teal for based on how this game has gone. Like, I would have trust issues as well. So, blue says, I think we all do. Blue is going to be massing a stronger navy because Italians... And is going to put an end to this pretty soon. I mean, we're, Teal's going to have to find out the hard way, obviously. This is essentially giving Purple time to muster up the courage and the forces. Excuse me. Uh, to try and kill Blue. But we knew Blue was coming in with experience. And then everybody else started picking each other off. And it's been a pretty easy game, right? The KD is probably not even that high for Blue. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I mean, there also is a king inside of that castle. So that's another big part of this, which is a problem. Uh, that's a lot of cannon galleons. Holy crap. King is running around. Wonder's still on the way. Cannon galleons are going down. Let's see how the king micro is here for you, Teal. Blue sacrificing all the ships for this. And there goes the king! <laughs> the king could actually survive, maybe. And the wonder's still on the way. Uh-oh. 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 No, king's alive. It has been clicked. It has been hit. I repeat. I repeat. We have been hit. This is why the king never skips leg day here. Okay, he's dead. Okay, well, nice snipe there from blue. And... It'll be just purple alive now to try and kill this guy. I'm not sure if he'll be able to do it. And purple is very far away, though, so it would be rather tough for blue to get the kill. Again, wonder victory would maybe be an option, which could be a little bit swifter. But, uh, yeah, blue's killed three people. Not a bad game for blue. Can we look at the KD here? 145 kills and has killed three people and is favored to win the game. <laughs> like everyone else did all the big engagements. Just everything just panned out properly. I think it was actually really smart though for Blue not to allow Teal into his base. 
because Teal was desperate, right? So Teal would have maybe done something funky. Gray says, my sister just came in here and commended me for making T90 say big words. Guys, come on. <laughs> hey, T90, I bet you can't say Irish. <laughs> I've never tried this one before. I've tried Toy Boat three times fast. Irish wristwatch. That's actually not bad. Boom. Done. Is that, it's supposed to be a tongue twister, I imagine, right? <clears throat> All right. Well, you know, purple, does he have anything? He had this. Um, kind of trying. Maybe thinking about another little transport expedition. First community game for Daniel. First time he tried to sign up for a community game, so he doesn't want to let this opportunity slip. Maybe he's hoping desperately that there's a king in the north right now with these skirmishers. All right. Still waiting to see exactly what that plan may be from purple. These are just idle fishing ships, so that's nothing. And, uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not see any movement from Daniel right now. He's got to be somewhere, though. He's got to be doing something. And... Is he dead? Oh, he dropped. <laughs> he disconnected. <laughs> okay. That explains why he wasn't doing much. I didn't want to be insensitive and just be like... Uh, you know, and be, be judgmental because I wasn't seeing anything happening. But I believe he probably dropped around a minute ago. Because sometimes when you disconnect, it keeps you in the game for a bit. And just everything's idle, obviously, because there's nothing controlling it. So, um, that was fantastic. Uh, Silver Lady says, for the record, that was my first community game as well. Well, I think there were some hard lessons learned. Ultimately, I think the two people who probably needed to, to be in the game, uh, or just the team in general, was going to be the warmer colored team. And Yellow forgetting it was Exploding Kings... Took himself out of the game as well as Langley. So I feel a little bit bad for Red, especially because um, while Red was happy that the person who killed him was out, it still was kind of a crappy way to go out. Would have made the game interesting, right? Blue was in a good position. Blue wouldn't have been able to trade forever. There would be multiple players that could traverse the lands and cross over and try and engage against Blue. Giving more time for Gray, giving more time for Purple to expand their economies and do some creative things. But yeah, uh, just not the way the game rolled out there or panned out there, I guess. Uh, there's the total KD. Gray actually had more kills than anybody. A lot of that was on water with 338 kills. Economically, it's got to be all blue. Again, this crazy trade profit there. Yellow also had good economy, but yellow had died. Um, and then it was yellow, it was, it was red, and it was blue. Those were the three, at least for a while there. It seemed like we're the strongest. And two players got knocked right out of the game. But it's a pretty big mix-up, right? Like, I had someone a couple weeks ago forget it was Regicide, which I suppose is worse. Because, you know, that's an important aspect of this. But forgetting it's Exploding Kings, not one for the highlight reel there for Yellow. But Yellow's a pretty good player. So in the future, Yellow will be able to redeem himself.